Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is Jimmy from Primer is Best. I'm out here with this 2009 Hyundai Accent. We've had this, uh, let's see. Let's see, when did we? Well, it's not, we haven't had it a year. Not not yet, not not a year. Likes a few months. Uh, this car, just to refresh your memory, or if you're new to the channel, this did belong to my mother-in-law, and she passed away. Uh, last year in 2023 October of 2023 so uh, make a long story short and speed this story up uh, we wound up with the car my, my wife did and uh, so uh, she was also my wife was driving this 2005 Scion XB so we periodically swap around she's been driving this for a few months and now she's wanting to drive this car because it's been sitting in the garage uh, covered up not covered up, but it's sitting in the garage uh, Oh, let me show you this Darn this thing happened. We always uh, oh, I need to straighten up this trunk That looks terrible uh, And try to make this short and sweet see this spot right here. It broke on the sun visor so Kind of hard to hold it still it's on the driver's side. We always put a Let me see. This part broke. You can see one of the little teeth or whatever is missing. So we ordered another one from eBay. I think it's thirty dollars, whatever, thirty-five, whatever. Free shipping. We always put a, a sun visor up, you know, on hot days like today. But today we're swapping. So well, I've already locked it. There's a sun visor in the back, but like I said, we're fixing the swap, so there's no need in putting a sun visor up. Uh, before we ever swap cars or anything, I always try to clean them up. So I clean the car up, you know, so the next time my wife wants to drive it, you know, in a month or two or three, whatever the case may be, uh, you know, it's already cleaned up, ready to go. I waxed it not too long ago, so I'm not too worried about wax. The water still beads up on it because I cleaned it this morning. So, uh, now, this thing has a hundred and, I think it's 157,000 miles, I'll say 158,000 miles on it. It's a good little old car, man, the thing cheap, cheap's on, I'll get it down here in a second, cheap on gas. Oh. Let's see if I can find the key. Yeah, 157,288, I said 158, so... Just filled it up with gas. The car is clean, so the next time my wife wants to drive it, it will be ready to go. So I'll move it down here out of the way so I can get the Scion XB out. And then I'll put this one in the garage. I sure do like this car. One, one of the reasons is these window cranks. I do not like electric windows. It's just something else to tear up, and you never know when they're going to tear up. I'd rather have roll-up windows anytime. There goes my plane. It's in just about every video. Same plane. Hard to believe. Okay, now this car, got to excuse the garage. It's my garage, and I'm kind of got it gummed up with wheels and every, everything else. So I've checked the fluids on it. I've looked under the car to make sure nothing has rolled up and under it uh, since we drove it last, which might cause it to have a flat tire. I waxed this car, uh, done everything, you know, cleaned everything, headlights and everything. And then I put it in a garage here and it's been sitting, so. It's been a while since I started. Let me turn this radio down. I forgot how to do it. That's not it. There it is. I want to give it a minute to warm up. It's been a few months since I've started it. Like I said, I think I think this thing has a hundred and I'm sorry, two hundred and forty thousand, maybe two fifty. Now it's starting to smooth out now. It's been a while. I, I really do like this car. This is looks can be deceiving this is one of those cars that has more room than what you can ever imagine it has so uh 
let it warm up for just a moment I kept the battery tender on it you know I swapped between it and the Lincoln over there MKZ Lincoln over there I need to drive it next so uh, anyway I'm trying to take advantage of this beautiful day the Lord has blessed us with this has been a good car for us we've had this car for many many years and uh, you know sure do like it it's a it's kind of odd and I know you probably can't see it very well but the speedometer and everything is in this little pod here of course you got the cold light the seat belt you know and it's right now it's in park it's kind of it's kind of different and it takes a takes a little bit to get used to it but now you know I really like it I mean you don't have to take your eyes off the road hardly any and you're right there at the speedometer and you know all your essentials right there and uh, it's got good good cold air good heat and uh, you know like I said I had this thing all cleaned up ready to go so when the next time my wife wants to drive it which is uh, today or tomorrow whenever uh, you know it'd be ready to go Let's see if I can sneak it out of here without hitting nothing Sometimes that glove box door rattles just a little bit, but hey, when you got, I'm sorry, 256,987 miles, if something rattles and it still runs, I'm pretty happy about it. There, I fixed it anyway. So, I'm going to let it run here for just a moment. Moment. I don't know why but I'm getting tongue-tied here on this video more than normal or maybe about the same who knows uh, show you around the car real quick if you've never seen it like I said this thing's got a zillion miles a lot of miles on it I'm sorry it's got more room than what you can ever imagine and uh, like I've said before some people make pickup trucks out of these things they cut this back half off right, right through here cut it off cut this all out put this up here and they've got a pickup truck a lot of I've seen them a lot of people sent me on YouTube you know pictures of them where they've been turned into pickup trucks and these a lot of people make campers out of these see how much headroom there is and I mean you can be way over six foot I mean there's plenty of headroom there's a lot of room in this car looks can be deceiving they just lay the seats down and uh, you know make a little I've seen people make little wooden stools you know little step like things that you know that come up to here so when you lay the seat down you lay the, all this down you've got a complete bed there's lots of them on YouTube if you're if you're really interested in it well, anyway it's a nice little car it's in good shape to, for a 2005 with over a quarter of a million miles on it uh, here's the pod I don't know if I showed you there's the tack it's full of gas, it's ready to go, cleaned up, ready to go. This is it. I sure do like this car. We have drove this car. This is like a little pickup truck for my wife and myself. We go to the junkyard in, we'll go in wherever we want to go in it. It's a little four cylinder, automatic. And like I said, lots of times I wish it had crews on it, but it doesn't. And I'm not investing any more money in it than what it's than what we already do just to keep it maintained. You know, new tires and you know just general maintenance, oil changes and stuff. My wife's decorated it up with her own a touch of a, what she wants it to look like. But it's a good car. Everything works. As you can tell, it's real quiet. Hadn't been started in a long time. And uh, this color, I really like this color. It's like this cat eye truck. That, it's hard to show dirt. I mean, it could be really dirty, but it still looks like it's clean. Cleaned the headlights last time I had it out and waxed it. Okay. I'm going to pause this here, guys, and I'm going to back this 2009 Hyundai Accent. It goes by the name of Hope. This 
car's name, if I didn't tell you, it's called Xbox. Because we, uh, our kids, our two boys, when they lived at home, uh, you know, they had an Xbox. And my wife had these letters made. She made them where you, uh, you know, you can hardly see them, but you can. Xbox, that's what we call this. I'm going somewhere in the Xbox, you know, just, just for kicks. Okay, let me back this up, guys. I don't want to hit anything in the garage because I'm going to try to get it pretty close to so you can have a good walkthrough. But uh, of the both of these, I, I will say this. I think this one gets better gas mileage. That one gets pretty good, but this one might get a mile or two better. They're both four cylinders, uh, but you can see the shape of this one is more square-like. And I suspect maybe that's why it doesn't get as good as this one. Now, that's a Toyota, and this is a Hyundai. And a lot of people don't know that this is made by Toyota. And boy, I sure do wish they still made them. I'd, lo I'd love to have this car new. But I've never had a new car or truck in my life, so it's always been used. Once, but that's okay. They're all paid for. Let me back this up, guys. I'll get right back with you, all right? Hang in there. Okay, guys, I got that all taken care of. Uh, swapped them around. Now, let's go get the 66. Today's video, what, I, what I'm trying to work myself into is to... I'll show you when I back the truck up. I've, I'm trying to make my videos shorter uh, so I don't waste so much of y'all's time. And also... Uh, Having a longer video doesn't really mean I'm going to get any more commercials. I've already noticed that about YouTube. They don't put many. I can put a three-minute video and get a commercial in the front and in the end most of the time. I can have a 20-minute video and I get one commercial at the front. Sometimes one in the middle and then one at the end. So I'm supposed to get... Around every eight minutes or so, I'm supposed to have a commercial, but it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. I don't know why. And by the way, I hear other people, excuse me, I didn't mean to slam that door that hard. I hear other people talk that, uh, you know, if you check and make sure you are subscribed to Primer is Best, a lot of folks are saying that YouTube is somehow you've unsubscribed. I don't know what goes on at YouTube, the company. I mean, I, I don't know. But uh, would you please check at the top of the page there where it says subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe, please. If you're not, if you've been subscribed if you've, and you're noticed that you're unsubscribed, Please hit it again. It's not my fault. I didn't do anything. It's it's all YouTube. I can't figure them out over there. I don't know. So, and I mean, I'm not a big channel anyway. So, that you know, I'm really small, small, small potatoes. So, they really don't, they really don't care. So, if you enjoy watching these videos, my wife and I do, Mrs. P.I.B. Primer is best and Man on a Budget. If you subscribe to both, I sure would appreciate it. We're trying so hard to do good. Okay, let's give this a shot. I'll get some my electric fuel pump, get some fuel up to the carb. It's been a while since I've started uh, Almond Joy. That's the name of this truck, Almond Joy. And uh, as you can tell, I'm making do with used parts. This truck was not born with it. Th these trucks, like I've said in lots of videos, these trucks uh, didn't were not born unless you clicked the option to get it, even for a passenger side visor. So I was lucky to get this one. No, it's not perfect. Neither is this one. This was in the truck. Let me see if it starts. There we go. I'll let it warm up a second. But just little things that you would think. Yummy. Know I mean? You would think, well, yeah, it's going to have a sun visor. Well, it didn't. I've had a lot of 57 Chevy trucks, you know, that didn't have the sun visor. It was all an option. These old trucks were made to work. They worked on farms. They worked, you know, shop trucks, you know, factory trucks, go-get trucks, haul, you know, haul things. 
they weren't made to play dress up like this when it kind of looks like now kind of dress up I don't know maybe that's the attraction one of the attractions for me about having an old truck is they weren't made to look pretty they were just made to work you get a good motor like this one was a six cylinder three speed on the column I don't even think it had a radio somebody's cut that out and they stuck a radio in and so I, I had Brian GM1038 on YouTube just stick a radio in. It does work. And the speaker, it's got a speaker. Anyway, let me pause this here, guys, so I don't hit my cat eye truck and I'll get right back with you, okay? Then I'll show you what we're doing. Hang in there. Okay, guys, I got Almond Joy sitting out here, the name of this truck. I'll show you what I'm doing. I just got done looking just now before I started the video to see how much a new windshield is for this truck. It's a 66. And uh, it's a, uh, I think it's $162. Of course, I mean, I don't know how much shipping is, but what I'm trying to fix or repair, and I'll have to get me a stool, I guess. See these little spots out there by the wipers? I'm wanting to fill them in. I think if this truck sits outside, which it does not, but I think if it leaks, it's gonna leak right there. And uh, I might, I'm not buying a new windshield, by the way. I think there's a, yeah, I think there's a spot right there on the back wind, on the back window too. Back window, I think was, I think $83. Now that's not including gaskets or nothing. And as you can see, it's one of those gaskets that you put this in and, you know, you put this in. It's just a big rigmarole. The last time we put a wind, uh, window glass in that I participated in was that 57 Chevy truck. Before I started YouTube, I had a big back glass 57 Chevy truck. It was gray primered and uh, had these same wheels on it. It's lowered down. It's on a Monte Carlo frame. This is on a 72 c10 truck frame as long before i started youtube but i was still doing the same thing doing now had a 305 in it out of a camaro and uh it it run good good looking truck big back glass and uh man that that old truck was sharp i'd bought new bumpers for it and all that kind of stuff but i forgot the, what i was talking about didn't i i got carried away thinking about that truck i sure do miss it but it's a big back glass we busted one of the uh, big back glass windows. I had two. And I was so glad I had the second one. And my goodness, I was praying that that second one didn't break. And it took uh, it took four or five of us to get that window in, you know, from the gasket. Like this stuff right here. It was a job. Of course, I mean, we didn't really know what we was doing. I was at Gas Axe Shop Shop with Tim Dixon and Tim and... Flaming Freddy and Corey and myself, Miss P.I.B. and seemed like someone else was trying to help. We's all pushing in and is a mess. My thing is, I'm trying to fix what I got. I just don't want no leaks. So I think I'm gonna uh, try to fix that where it doesn't leak in there. Should it be out in the rain for some reason? I don't foresee it ever happening, but I mean, I might go somewhere and it start pouring down rain. Who knows, who knows? But in any case, I won't have to worry about that. I think, let me get in here and look. Oh, yeah. Somebody asked me, why do I keep my hoods propped up? Why are they always open like that? I disconnect my batteries. When I'm done with the truck for the day, whichever truck I'm in, I pull them in the garage, I disconnect the battery. I don't leave them connected up with juice on them sitting in the garage. I don't know when I'll get back out there to them. So that's what I do. See that? I'm gonna to try to fix some of that if I can, best I can. I don't think it leaks, but then again, I don't, I don't know for sure. I don't let them set out in the rain, so. Okay, let's, uh. See if we can get into them where to get some stools or something because that's right in the middle of the windshield. And uh, we'll just see what happens. Hopefully, I won't mess it up. But the, uh, I'll show you what I'm using. 
I bought this at the auto parts store a few hours ago. I got some friends there. And uh, one of them was helping me. I got both of these. Okay, this is a... Uh, I had this in my hand. And my buddy... My buddy Ron said, uh, Jimmy said, won't you put this on first? So I guess that's what I'll do. It's windshield and glass sealant. Flowable silicone for sealing leaks and drafts. Flows into hard places to reach. Flows into hard to reach places. Dries clear, waterproof. Then I was going to put this on the top of it. So you, it takes, after I read it, it said, uh, remove excess sealant and let it dry for one hour. Full cure requires 24 hours. So here's the deal. I thought I'd put this stuff on. This first. Where I just showed you on this truck. And then. I'll let it, Tomorrow I'll get it back out. And I'll put this stuff on it. It'll be black. Not that there's anything wrong with the clear. But I just. I'm just trying to make the old truck look the best I can on a budget. You know. All this stuff. Uh. You know, for these old trucks, if you can save a buck or two, that helps you to on the next truck or whatever, you know. So, all right, let me get some stools, see what I can get into about reaching that over so I don't make a big gummy mess. I got to clean it out first. It says to clean very good. So I got to do that first. I'll spare you all that. And then I'll put this stuff on and then we'll see what happens then, okay? Hang in there, all right? Okay, guys, Mrs. PIB is going through shells from our trip to Florida. We got a bunch of these, but look at how pretty that one is. That one is pretty, isn't it? Th yeah. Those are my favorites to get. Those, of course, I mean, I look for different ones. That's my one of my favorite things in Florida is to look for shells. But these kind of roll, and they're a little bit harder to get, so I'm kind of into a challenge. That's pretty too, huh? Mm-hmm. Anyway, and I, I like these little bitty ones here, like that. They, you know, of course they're supposed to be bigger. I, I don't know what happens to them. I don't know what, what you There's call them. There's some those that are shells. just really shiny. Yeah, I think the sand has shined them up. I don't know. Anyway, let me show you what I got done here. It, I put it on. It looked really good. It looked really good, but with the sun shining on it. You know, I, I kind of done it like I was welding. I went from side to side, and it's built up really good. But, like I said, the sun is shining. There's some heat involved. And uh, I've done both sides. So, you know, I still have that black stuff. But, I, I mean, it looked like this before. I mean, somebody, I don't know if the factory done it or what. I honestly don't know. But there was a hole there that was letting water come in and also let me get turned around here there was a hole right there too now i'm going to clean it up better when i get when this gets good and dry there was a hole right there that was letting water in i'm sure if it set out in the rain it was gonna the good thing about this truck it's sitting it's sitting one guy's garage for 17 years and the guy before the guy before the guy that owned it for 17 years is set in his garage so that's what saved this truck in my opinion so let me climb in here and i'll show you what i've done basically i think okay y'all y'all see that i had it looking really good but like i said the uh the sun and the heat kind of got to it there a little bit but it'll be okay. I mean, it's unless I pointed it out and you or you were looking for that, I don't think you'd really find it. But it's okay. I got that black stuff too. I daubed a little right there. Just no big deal whatsoever. I got a little on my finger. I just stick a little right there just so I don't waste it. Anyway, better than a hole, right? And uh. You know, I'm trying to make do. I'm trying to make use of, you know, things that I already have here. And, you know, stuff I can do myself, I will do myself, that I feel comfortable doing. Okay. Now, I'll let this 
set over to, overnight and then tomorrow I'll get it out and uh, we'll see what it looks like we'll see what it looks like then I mean if nothing else I mean I've, I've stopped the hole right I'm thinking I did so yep little bit little bit on this old truck almond joy I, I think I man I had that looking so good I was you know like he's welding like he's weaving back and forth I had that looking really good but that sun just really I didn't take that into consideration did I but you know I, I, like I got that black tube I can just kind of put some in there it won't look bad at all won't look bad at all I don't see any more holes and uh, like I said, you know, this thing's a 66, you know, the rubber's just contracted and all this other stuff. And it's finally just, it's a 66. So things are going to happen. Who did, who would have ever thought, who would ever thought, you know, that this would be still around as long as it is now. So this is 2024. So, sheesh, I bet... Bet the folks on the assembly line, if they're still alive, I bet they wouldn't think, well, this truck's still, it'll still be here all these years later. I bet they thought, nope. People trade them in, you know, beat them up, trade them in, use them, and then get another one that'll be in the scrapyard. So, okay, guys, I'm going to stop the video here, and then I'll get back with you tomorrow. I'm going to put it up, let it dry in the garage, and uh, we'll continue this little adventure thing I got going uh, tomorrow afternoon. See y'all in a bit. Okay, guys, I got the 66 Almond Joy back out here again. I know it looks like it's the same same day, but it's not. It's been 24 hours, maybe even more. My wife is gone. Her car was parked here. The Xbox, she went to Zumba class. They have resumed. And uh, so now I got the 66 out. I'm going to use this stuff First, let me tell you about this. The 2009 Hyundai uh, Accent. My visor come in today. So this is the one we took off of it. Remember, this one broke. Well, the mosquitoes are bad right now. Uh, they're following me around like, like I'm their leader. Uh, this part right here broke. This. So uh, this one had a provision to plug up your wire. So when you open up this window for the mirror, uh, it lights up. The one we got in the mail does not have that option. So that's okay. That's okay. Let me put this back in the trunk. Otherwise, I'm going to forget where I said it. I'll show it to Mrs. P.I.B. when she gets back home. Here's the one I just put in. Same color and everything, uh, but just doesn't have that provision. I don't care if there's a lot or not. I don't even look at that stuff, really. So it's all good. Got the visor fixed. So now, let's carry on with this right here. With this... Uh, Super weather strip adhesive. Let's see. I'm going to read this real quick. Clean and dry all surfaces. Use a brighter remover. Part of release. Apply a thin, even film to both surfaces. Let it dry for at least 10 minutes to allow complete. 10 minutes. Okay. Then bond immediately. So you got 10 minutes to move it around, whatever you want to do. Maybe I'm not even showing you that. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, here's what it looks like. Dried. It's completely cured. See that? I started not to even put any on there, but I thought, well, I will. I've already bought it, so let's give it a shot. I don't know how much I'm going to put up there, if any. You know, very little, but 
still looking at it wondering if I should but I'll put a little bit we'll just see what it looks like I've already bought it so what the heck right let me get some uh let me get something to cut this box open and uh, so I can put this back in the box so I'll know what it is with the directions should I need it again. And I'll get right back with you, okay? Hang in there, guys. Okay, guys, I'm no Rembrandt or whatever you want to call one of those famous painters. <laughs> I am not. I am not. Here it is. Now, when it dries... It's going to fade some more. And uh, I'll be able to sand off some of it just a little bit when it's good and dry. Right now it's just so tacky. I'm going to let it sit, I guess, overnight. Or the next time I get the truck out, there's no hurry. Uh, I didn't make a decision. Let me show you maybe from here if I can. Hang on just a second. Let me get this phone to cooperate. Instead of fighting me all the time. See, that doesn't look, it doesn't look good, but it doesn't look that bad either. It beats a hole, right? Yeah, it beats a hole. And I'm doing things on a budget. I got me a screwdriver and stuff, tried to flatten it out. But the best thing, I believe, is going to be just to let it dry and leave it as is. So, As far as the back goes, I decided to just leave it alone because it's hardly noticeable. Maybe I should have left the front alone too, but I just felt like it needed something. But this is all filled in good. It's good and hard. It's not going to leak. So I think it's going to be good. Not that, it, not that this truck sits outside anyway. So I think we're good, and I might... Uh, like I said, when this stuff gets fully dried and cured, maybe I can do something else with it, make it look a little bit better. I don't know. But I was sitting here looking at this truck, and I was thinking how how much it has changed in a year's time. If you'll keep watching the video till the end, and I get done, uh, I'll show you some pictures of it when I first got it. And how far it's come. Okay, it's sitting on a 72C10 truck frame. Uh, it's been lowered in less than... All this is less than a year, okay? It's almost going to be... Well, let's see. When did I get this? Well, another month or two, it'll be... I will, I will have owned it a year. But that doesn't mean we started working on it a year ago. It means, you know, that I bought the truck and, the, you know... We was gathering up parts and stuff. So what's been done in, in less than a year? It's been lowered on a 72C10 truck frame. It's got disc brakes now, and it has power steering. It never had power steering before. Uh, we rattle can painted it the whole thing one color instead of all the mismatched colors that you'll see if you keep watching the video. Uh, put these brand new American Racing wheels and tires on it from Ronnie Tyler in Madisonville, Tennessee. Had my buddy Tim Dixon at gas x chop shop do all the metal work like i said i like weld scars so i show them i show i show weld scars i sh i show imperfections because that's what i like i've got imperfections myself put all this patina on it put penetrol on it to make it shiny where it looks like it's got clear coat put a new heater core in it oh, i want to thank my buddy gm 1038 for doing all the work that he done him and his dad charlie put this motor in there i already had a three speed on the column uh new heater core you know just started all over from scratch you know radiator battery all new brakes brake lines fuel system fuel lines uh everything you can imagine this truck is so much easier to drive with that power steering you of course new alternator i mean the water everything everything is new when you start from scratch so of course you know new heater hoses and uh, some of this stuff's kind of expensive I mean I'll just tell you it is I got a better grill from my friend Waylon uh, he works with Tim over at Gas X Chop Shop Tim's on Facebook if you go to gas type in Gas X Chop Shop and Brian has his own YouTube channel called GM Tim 38 
GMTM38. Please subscribe to it. Tell them you've seen the video on this 66 truck Almond Joy. And uh, uh, like, like I said, Waylon was at a swap meet. He found a better grill for this truck. Uh, Brian and Charlie, his dad, to put these bumper guards on, I believe. Like I said, I think they're from a 55 Chevy car. I couldn't find no bumper guards for it. I was wanting bumper guards. As I've said before, they reproduce them, but they just didn't have any. Nobody's got them. Well, I called everybody. I called the other part of the country, out west in the United States, you know, just called everybody, every little rickety-dink junkyard you could find in the phone book from people making suggestions. There was none to be had. So, Brian, I like these better, these bumper guards. Uh, all new lights, you know, and stuff like that. Uh, new lens, bezels, you know, like I said, headlights. Uh, Tim done so much fabricating on this. Tim Dixon, Gas Axe Chop Shop. Uh, put the, put all this stuff here on. This truck was not born with it. None of this trim, none of it. None, none of this trim was born on this truck. And uh, Brian put all that on. Uh, let's see. Tim done all the exhaust. You know, Brian done all the brakes and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we put this wood in. Uh, Brian and Charlie and myself put this wood in. Mostly them. I mean, I'm not... I helped, but I mean, I didn't... They, they, they finished it. My wife and I put six coats of uh, marine varnish on it. Six coats. Six or seven. I'll say six, but I, it might have been seven. Wasn't born with this. We put that Chevrolet on the glove box just to kind of dress it up. Like I said, new heater core. A radio that actually works. A uh, new clutch pressure plate. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, put this visor on. It was not born with this. You know, all this stuff was an option back in the day. Let's see, what else did we do? Oh, new gas tank. New gas tank, new gas lines. Uh, tail lights, tail light uh, bezels, tailgate chains. Uh, my wife talked Brian out of this farm tag for it. It's 66. Uh, let's see. Put this quality sticker on from GM. <laughs> Just for a joke. These stickers are already on here. Uh, Farm Bureau. One on each side. Somebody took a lot of time measuring to put that on. And I'm not taking it off. It's just too cool. And I'm into patina. So all this stuff I've done myself. Rattle can painted it. And then, uh, you know, put my own touch on it there. How it should be wore out since it's a 66 model. Where your hands would be gets the most abuse, right? And over here. Uh, you know, this little dents and scrapes, which I just I just think are so cool. Uh, you know, new shocks. Uh, just, you know, new, new, pe new pedal pads, I guess you call it. Got my horn working. Uh, let's see. I'm just thinking, of course, uh, new new locks for the door so you can actually lock the door. New armrests. These trucks were not born with armrests unless you ordered them. Door seals. I put on new door rubber. Uh, I put all this stuff on. Uh, it's. Uh, let's see. Let me pick this up before it blows away. Uh, anyway, uh. Like I said, a rattle can painted it. Now, it wasn't born this color. It was This was like three or four different colors. When I got the truck, if you'll watch the pictures, you'll see. But uh, instead of a, like this white, it should, it should be if it was factory, it would come down to here. You know, from here up. From here up, white. But, you know, like I said before, I just was looking at the truck and uh you know i was just thinking to myself i thought you know it, this is this way you know the white in the center of the chrome is this way and i thought that would just kind of match kind of keep the flow even so to speak so that's what i did i just 
I didn't paint the hole white like it should be from the factory. I just painted the top of the roof white. And, uh, you know, like I said, Tim Dixon done all the exhaust, all the metal work. Him and Waylon worked hard on this truck. And, uh, you know, like I told him, you know, I said, you don't have to fix every little thing on it. Just, I just want the truck to look decent. If it's got a few dents, that's great. You know, if it's got a little pinhole here, that's great. Uh, my wife and I got these, got these emblems. We, we repainted them and scuffed them up a little. You know, painted the blue in here and the red. And, uh, you know, I put the antenna on with just, just little things. You know, I, I was just, I don't know, I guess when I was putting that stuff on, I was looking at this truck and I thought, man, this truck's come a long way. Of course, new wipers. And I uh, done this, uh, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but it's AAA Rewards. Oh, for old folks like myself back in the day, used to put that on the rearview mirror. So you can see it, and uh, I don't know. I just really like the old truck. It's come a long way. Uh, I think it looks great. It runs great, and uh, it's not a showstopper or anything. But I mean, it's just a good, decent old truck. And uh, my wife and I have had a lot of fun with it. And you know, this past year, you know, during the warm months, you know, where we can get out and do things. All the windows work, work, there's no cracks or anything, and you know, it's all good. But I was wanting to get that little bit of rubber fix there, you know, just around the windshield stuff. But, uh, anyway, y'all let me know what you think about Almond Joy. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me show you something. Hang on, guys. Okay, this is, if you've been subscribed to my channel, Prime is Best, Y'all have seen this little truck before. My friend Brian, GM1038 on YouTube, he bought his daughter one of these trucks. And uh, it's the same, it's just like this truck. Just like this truck. Almond Joy here. And uh, we, my wife and I was at the paint store, you know, the co-op. I think we was at the co-op trying to figure out what color we was going to paint this truck. And uh, he sent my wife and I a picture of this truck that he bought his daughter. It's nearly the same truck, isn't it? A little bit of difference, but not much. This is a big back glass, and this one is not. This small back glass. But, uh, anyway, you can tell. I don't know. I just really like that color. So we got the closest color we can. Uh, almond gloss is the color of this truck. And then we put Penetrol on it. But uh, I want to thank him once again because I didn't really know what color to paint this truck. It's got the bumper guards. I mean, it's a pretty sharp little old truck. Place with the antenna. Got this uh, dual mirrors, you know, one on each door. And uh, I don't know, I think the door's open. Yeah, they open. If I don't break nothing. I don't think that door's ever been open. You know, the insides are black. Just like this one. It's pretty much the twin. I mean, this has got the stock wheels and hubcaps on it, and they look good, too. But you can tell it's been lowered a little. Just, just a cool old truck. So, I just thought I'd, uh, every time I get this out, I'd, I have always happen to get that mirror loose. Anyway, enough said on that. Anyway, thank you, Brian, for suggesting that color. It's not exactly the same, but as close as I can get, and I like this color. Y'all let me know what you think, and uh, in less than a year, that's, this is what it's looked like. A uh, bunch of money's been put into this truck. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. A bunch of money's been put into this truck, as with all my old trucks, because I buy stuff that nobody else really wants. Going to the scrapyard are going to be parted out. I mean, that's basically the, uh, the, the trucks that I like to fool with, that, you know, with no hope of ever being revived well that's the ones that i want to revive you know it's just kind of like a challenge it's fun looking for parts and it's fun spending money you really don't have <laughs> if that makes any sense but anyway no seriously it's it's a lot of fun for my wife and myself and uh there are worse habits to have for sure anyway just a little summary here of uh 
the 66 Chevy truck Almond Joy. Y'all let me know what you think. And uh, I'll, when that gets good and dry, I might do something else with it where it doesn't look so obvious. But in any case, it has solved the problem of uh, the leak. You know, not that I had a leak, but there was a hole. There was a hole there. If it had rained, it had come in. I don't want no rainwater in. Anyway, if that's if of all the other imperfections, you know, that's not going to make much difference. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching. My name's Jimmy. You're watching Primate is Best on YouTube, and I sure do appreciate you uh, tuning in to Primate is Best. I'm also on Facebook, Primate is Best, and Instagram, Primate is Best. I got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget, and I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. Y'all stay safe. God is great. God is good, and he's blessed us with a beautiful day today. Beautiful day. I can hardly believe sometimes how much I am truly blessed since I turned my life went around. Y'all do the best you can. Turn your life around and see how much better things go. Remember, God's always watching. And he's always listening. And he knows that you're doing your best. If you're doing your best, if you will draw near to God, he will draw near to you. So just remember that. Please help anybody that might be needing a little bit of help now and again. And say a kind word to somebody, would you please? Just brag on something, you know, something to brighten someone's day. There's no need in cutting each other down all the time. I get so sick of that. So... Anyway, you won't miss nothing if you like and subscribe. Please give me a big old thumbs up, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Stay safe so you'll be able to watch the next video. God bless y'all. See y'all later.